Hello friends, it's Zia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys this mermaid makeup tutorial for Halloween. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's not scary like my other ones are, but I really like it. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with a clean face, then I'm going to apply my foundation, concealer, and my airspun translucent powder just like I usually would, and I'm going to bake my under eyes just like always. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to start on my eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I'm going to use my Amanda Steele from ColourPop Collection, and I'm going to use the teal shade on my brows because we'll see how that works. And I'm going to use the gel from my NYX Cake Powder just so my eyeshadow has something to hold on to. It's not too far off from my natural brow color. I mean, it's teal, but it's not that bad, right? Right. Next, I'm going to put some of this infallible Endless Sea shade on my brows. It's super pretty, not a color I would usually put on my face, but it works for this look for Halloween. Now I'm going to move on to my eyes, and I'm going to start by priming my eyes with this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the color Jinxie. I love this stuff, I use it all the time. And for the first time in a while, I'm going to use my Alice Through the Looking Glass palette from Urban Decay. I'm going to start off with the color Gone Mad. I'm going to apply that in my crease and slightly above it. Then I'm going to go into the color Bandersnatch and apply that right underneath. I wasn't completely sure what I was doing with this look. I did not practice it, but I'm really happy with how it came out. Next, I took the color Heads Will Roll and I applied that all over the lid. And over that, I applied more Endless Sea. Now I'm taking this Iced Pigment Powder from LA Colors. I picked this up at Daiso, you could probably find it at the dollar store or something. And it's in the color Luster, I really, really like it. I had to tap it out of its container because it is a loose pigment. And I applied that over Gone Mad. Next, I'm taking another LA Colors Iced Pigment Powder. This one is in the color Glowing, and I'm applying that on my brow bone and a little bit on the inner corner. I also applied a little bit of Bandersnatch to the lower lash line. Now I'm just dusting away all the baking powder. After I'm done with that, I'm going to bronze up my face just the smallest bit, kind of using it as a contour. Just on my jawline, a little bit on the temples, and definitely on my nose. Then I'm taking a little bit of a liquid highlighter, just so that everything that I put on my cheeks and my forehead will stick better once I'm done. And I'm putting this fishnet over my face. It looks very attractive. And I'm taking the iced powder pigments all over again, starting with the purple shade, which is Luster. And I'm going to use more Endless Sea. I also used the color Glowing, which is the one that I put on my brow bone, and my camera cut out, unfortunately, it did not catch it. I applied it on my cheekbones and on my forehead. Now I'm dusting away any extra product or fallout, and then I'm going to highlight my nose, my cupid's bow, and my inner corner using some Mary Luminizer. And the tops of my brows. Now I'm going to apply my favorite liner and some lashes. These are the 415 lashes from Ardell. And I'm applying some mascara to my lower lashes and to the falsies. Once that is done, I am going to line and fill my lips using this Rimmel lip liner in the color Natural. I decided to keep my lips very nude for now. I decided to add a little bit of an ultra satin lip from ColourPop. This is also in the Amanda Steele collection and it's in the color Jiffy. And on top of that, I decided to add this glitter lip topper from Models Own. This is in the color Rose Comet. I really like it. I don't know when else I would wear it, but it works really well for this makeup. You can always leave it this way, which I really do like, but I decided, since it's Halloween, I'm a mermaid, I should use some glitter. So I used the Models Own Celestial Lip Glitter Kit even though this is for lips, I decided to apply it to my cheeks 
and to my collarbone because why not just look like a unicorn sneezed on me, right? Right. So it comes with a little glue and so I just apply the glue and then apply the glitter on top of it. And that is the whole look. This actually took me the longest out of all the Halloween looks. I hope you guys really, really enjoy it. I really like it. I hope you do too. If you try it out, don't forget to tag me on Instagram because I would love to see your recreations. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Yes? One last thing. Yeah? I love you more.